Hello everyone. I am going to deal with the subject that is tool design. The teaching scheme of this particular course is class test of 24 20 marks, end semester examination 80 marks, and uh, question paper pattern is there will be a 10 questions asked in the university examination. So in this particular course, six units are there in the syllabus. So first three units will be included there in the section A, and the remaining three units will be included there in the section B. On first three units, the question will be asked in the section A. So uh, as far as the question paper pattern is concerned, ten co questions will be asked. Question number first is compulsory from section A, and question number six is compulsory from section B, and each carries ten marks. So these two questions will be objective types or short answer questions will be asked there in the university examination. So in this questions, in this short answer questions, uh, six questions will be asked, and you have to solve. two questions you have to uh, you have to uh, attempt five questions each carries two marks so uh, five into two that is 10 marks so question number 1 which is compulsory will be asked for 10 marks and question number 6 which is again compulsory from section b will be also asked for 10 marks and whatever the remaining questions are there so you have to solve two questions from each section including this question number four, compulsory question number 1 from section a and compulsory question number 6 from section b so in total you have to attempt three questions from section a and three questions from section b so whatever the three questions from section a you have to attempt so just now i have told that is question number first is compulsory which carries 10 marks and other two questions you have to solve there which will carries 15 marks so 15 plus 10 uh, 50 multiplied by 2 that is 30 30 plus 10 that is 40 so section a carries 40 marks and section b in the same way carries 40 marks so total end semester examination of 80 marks is there so this one is the syllabus of the tool design course so here again uh, here again as far as the term work is concerned 25 marks are there for the term works and 25 mark is there for the oral examination so whatever the experiments which we are going to cover so related uh, related experiments you are going to write on the journal pages also you are going to draw the sheets so that that includes the term work so term works carries 25 marks and on the same term works and also on the syllabus the questions will be asked the oral examination that is viva examinations will be conducted by the university and that carries 25 marks so what are the prerequisites to study this particular subjects so to study this particular subject you should have the fundamental knowledge of manufacturing science and manufacturing processes so whatever the manufacturing processes 1 and manufacturing processes 2 which you have studied there in the previous semester so you should have the fundamental knowledge of that what are the different types of manufacturing processes so fundamental knowledge related to that you should have along with this you should have the knowledge of engineering and machine drawing so you must be in position to draw the different views of the components so generally two views is expected to be drawn there 
but in the two views if each and every components of the each and every elements of the component if it is not visible then third view according to the according to the different methods will be drawn there will be drawn there and that's why in this particular course and that's why you should have the basic knowledge of this engineering and the machine drawing so in addition to that you should have the basic knowledge of machine design machine design the procedure uh, procedure for designing the component you must be aware and also also and also you must be familiar with the design data book so from the design data book so you can select the different materials from the design data books certain tolerance ranges you can select there so basic knowledge related with the machine design and also you must be familiar with the design data book so these are the prerequisites which are required for learning this particular subject that is the tool design so what are the objective of learning this particular subject the first objective is to study and understand the elements of tooling so title of this particular course itself indicates that is tool design so tool means basically it's a tooling different types of toolings are there so basically it's a tooling design so what is the objective that is to study and understand the elements of tooling so whatever the different types of toolings are there so you must understand and you must study the elements of each and every tooling so that is the first objective second objective is analyze and application of tooling so you you supposed to analyze the toolings and what are the different applications where these toolings are used there so when you analyze the toolings so definitely by analyzing the tooling so you can think of certain modification in the tooling so that is the second objective third objective is design of jigs fixtures and dies for a given component so here you are going to study how to design the uh, jigs as well as the fixture and the different sheet metals and the drawing dies your uh, design of the drawing dies you are going to study here in this particular subject so that is the uh, third objective of learning this particular course so here in this particular course already have told six units are there in the tool design so first three units will be included there in the section a and remaining three units will be included the questions will be asked on the remaining three units in the section b so first unit is the introduction so in this unit you are going to study the different types of tooling you are going to study what is meant by tooling the definition of the tooling and in addition to that we are going to study the aisi classification of the tooling materials and their properties second unit is the elements of machining processes so all basics related with the machining processes we are going to study here in this particular units so what is mean by mechanics of metal cutting how the materials is going to be cut there in the actual practices in the actual machining what are the different forces which are coming there on the cutting tool what are the different types of cutting tools what is mean by single point cutting tools what is the geometry of the single point cutting tools what are the effects of the different elements of the single point cutting tools in the actual machining so all the basics related with the machining in addition to that uh, what are the different forces which are coming there on the cutting tool how to calculate those those forces what is mean by merchant force circle diagram and what is the application of that particular merchant force circle diagram and obviously you are going to see also what is mean by tooling uh, what is mean by tool life what is taylor's principles for tool life how to calculate the tool life and obviously in the university examination on the tool life as well as on the merchant force circle diagram the numericals will be asked there for 7 to 8 marks 7 to 8 marks so in this unit in addition to this 
you are going to study the latest advancements which is going on there that is nothing but the pro uh, progresses in cutting tools you are going to study here in this particular units so the next unit that is the unit number third which is related with the multi point cutting tool so in this unit you are going to study the different types of multi point cutting tool the classification of the multi point cutting tool and obviously the geometry of the different types of multi point cutting tool in addition to that what is the effects of each and every elements elements of this multi point cutting tools in the actual machining so that we are going to study there so what are the different types of multi point cutting tool and where it is used there what is the application of that particular multi point cutting tool so that we are going to study here here in this particular unit so there are the different types of multi point cutting tool such as drill bit is there that is also called as twist drill milling cutter is there tab is there broaches are there then hob is there so the geometry that is the tool geometry of all this multi point cutting tool we are going to study in this in this unit that is the multi point cutting tool so in the same units the next bit is included there that is nothing but the limits fits and gauges so all terminologies logics which are related with the limits and fits in addition to that the terminologies which are related with the gauges we are going to study in this particular unit so here in addition to that whatever the different types of gauges which we are using there in the actual practices that also we are going to study and again we are going to study the taylor's principles for the gauges again we are going to design the gauge for a particular application again we are going to decide how to calculate the tolerance on the different dimension how to decide the tolerance on the different dimension what is meant by compounding what is meant by tolerance accumulation what is mean by interchangeability what is mean by selective assembly so all these terms we are going to study here in this that is in the limits fits and gauges so in the university examination again for 7 to 8 marks the numericals will be asked there on the limits and fits so wherein you supposed to decide the limits of the dimension in addition to that you supposed to decide the tolerance of that particular dimension so for 7 to 8 marks the numericals will be asked there on this particular bit in addition to that in the university examination for 7 to 8 marks the numericals will be asked there on the gauge design so for a particular application for verifying the dimension of the components in the university examination the numericals will be asked to design the gauge uh, to design the gauge so that the components can be verified there by that particular gauge so here in this unit we are going to uh, uh, study the design of different gauges so next unit that is unit number 4 so that is nothing but the jigs and fixture so here in this unit we are going to study the different principles of the jigs and fixture so it may be the locating principles principle of location that is or it may be the uh, clamping principle that we are going to study here in this particular unit in addition to that the different types of jigs we are going to study different types of fixtures we are going to study different elements of this jigs and fixture we are going to study there uh, study here different types of clamping devices different methods of location different locating devices we are going to study and obviously in addition to that we are going to study the, the different locating principles it may be 3 to 1 principle or it may be 4 to 1 principle that we are going to study here so here we are going to study that how to design the jigs and fixture and definitely in the university examination for 15 marks the question will be asked there on the jig design so for a particular application you have to design the jigs as well as the fixture 
and accordingly you have to select the one of the type of the locating devices one of the type of the clamping devices you have to decide the base plate of the jigs that is the body of the jigs and fixture and accordingly accordingly you are going to design the jigs and fixture so jigs and fixture uh, and obviously just now i have told the numericals will be asked there for 15 marks 15 marks on the jigs and fixture design jigs and fixture design so in short what is mean by jigs and fixture so basically it's a work piece holding and the tool guiding elements so that is nothing but in general here we can say that is nothing but the jigs and fixture so in detail what is mean by jigs and fixture what is the definition of the jigs and fixture so definitely that we are going to study in this particular unit that is the jigs and fixture so next unit so that is nothing but the design of die so here we are going to study the design of sheet metal working die so what is mean by center of pressure what is mean by punch what are the different operations which can what is mean by dies what are the different operations which can be carried out there there in the sheet metal working operation so all this uh, terminologies and all these things we are going to study in this particular unit that is the design of dies in addition to that we are going to design a die for a particular application so basically there are the different types of dies so it may be a simple die it may be a compound die or it may be a progressive die so according to the components which you want to manufacture so you have to select one of the type of die for manufacturing that particular component so once the type of die is selected there so you are going to design that particular die means you are going to calculate the different dimension of that particular die so it may be the dimension of the punch or it may be the dimension of the die so that you are going to calculate and accordingly whatever the forces which are coming there on the punch and the die so there are the different methods to reduce the forces which is being exerted there Uh, being exerted there on the punch and die so how to reduce what are the different methods to reduce the forces which are coming there on the dies so that also we are going to discuss we are going to study here in this particular design of die and obviously in the university examination for 15 marks the numerical will be asked there on the die design that you have to design the die for a particular for a particular component which you want to manufacture there so for that particular component you are going to design the sheet metal working die so next unit that is the unit number 6 that is the last unit in this tool design course that is the drawing die so in this unit you are going to study the different aspects of this drawing die different terminologies which are used there in the drawing die then you are going to study here how to design the drawing dies what is mean by blank size cal calculation what is mean by drawing force what is mean by single and double acting die so all these parameters we are going to study here in the drawing die and obviously you are going to design a drawing die and in the university examination again the questions will be asked there on the design of drawing die so uh, the components the dimension of the components which you want to manufacture will be given there in the numerical and for manufacturing that particular components you supposed to design the drawing die means you supposed to calculate the different dimension in addition to that you supposed to calculate the blank size and accordingly you are going to design the drawing die drawing die and just now i told that in the university examination the questions will be asked there on the design of the drawing die so as far as the books are concerned so in one books you cannot you may not get the complete syllabus there but whatever this Uh, whatever this unit that is the jigs and fixture fixture so for this particular unit you supposed to refer uh, the separate book that is the books on jigs and fixture uh, by p s joshi 
or you may refer the introduction of the jig jig and tool design by mh kemster so whatever the other units are there so the syllabus of these other units uh, for that you may refer the books that is the tool design by donaldson so this this book you can refer here refer here that is tool design by donaldson you can refer in addition to that the jigs and picture just now i have told that is the jigs and picture by p s joshi or the jigs and tool design by kemster so this book you can refer for this uh, for uh, for this particular course that is the tool design so in addition to the, this you may refer uh, the books for this unit that is the limits and fits you may refer the metrology and a measurement by rk jain book that also you can refer or you can also refer that is the production engineering by pc sharma so this books also you can refer for this particular uh, course that is the tool design that is the tool design so pattern of the question paper so that already i have discussed then the marking scheme that is the examination scheme of this particular course so that also i have already discussed there so next one is nothing but the course outcome so what is mean by course outcome outcome so what is the student is expected to learn expected to know after learning this particular course that is the tool design so that is nothing but called as a course outcome so what is mean by course outcome on successful completion of this particular course the student should be able to do the following point so that is nothing but called as a course outcome so there are the six course outcome of this particular course that is tool design so first one is the first one is student should able to find different tool material their properties different tools their geometry and necessary aspects related to the tool so student must be in position to find the different tool materials what are the different tool materials are there what are the properties of different tool materials what is the geometry of that particular uh, tool materials and the necessary aspect means whatever the elements as far as the tools are concerned that is the toolings are concerned so what is the effects of each and every element so that is nothing but the necessary aspects related to the, to the tool so the student must be able to uh, able to know that able to find out that so that is the course outcome first so second course outcome is student should be able to explain what is mean by fits what is mean by gauges the terms related to fits what is mean by locating and the clamping devices then elements of dies and the drawing dies so student must be able to explain the fits the gauges the term related to fits the different types of locating and the clamping devices and obviously the elements of the dies as well as the drawing dies the third course outcome is student should able to select appropriate type of tool for machining processes by calculating various parameters needed so so after complete completion of this particular course the student should able to select the appropriate type of tool for a, for manufacturing a particular kind of components obviously by calculating various parameters which are needed there so that whatever the cutting tools which is going to be selected there for that particular manufacturing process will perform perform well its function in the actual machining so after completion of this particular course the student must able to select a appropriate type of tools that is nothing but the appropriate type of toolings for manufacturing the different components so next course outcome is student should able to classify 
all types of cutting tools used in machining and metal cutting so whatever the different types of cutting tools which are used there whatever the different types of toolings which are used there the student should able to classify the all types of tools and the toolings which are used there in the machining and the metal cutting next course outcome is the student should able to analyze various types of cutting tools jigs and fixture so here after completion complete after completing this particular course the student should able to analyze various types of cutting tools so when the student is able to analyze the various types of cutting tool so that he can select he must be in position to select appropriate type of cutting tool so when he analyze the cutting tool so he come to know that what are the effects of each and every every elements what is the effects of tool geometry as far as the actual machining is going to be the concern there and accordingly he can have a certain modification in the cutting tool cutting tool or maybe certain modification in the existing jigs and fixture jigs and fixture so that so that he can think of modifying the jigs and fixture and the cutting tool and for that purpose he must be able to analyze the various types of cutting tools as well as the jigs and fixture the last course outcome that is the student should able to design the gauges jigs fixture dies and drawing dies for given component so after completing this course that is the tool design the student must be in position to design the gauges for a particular application must be in position to design the jigs and fixture for a particular application and obviously the obviously the sheet metal working die and also the drawing dies for manufacturing a particular component so that is the last course outcome of this particular course that is the tool design